focusing on you. Innovations in modern medicine from your team of experts at UHealth, the University of Miami Health System. Teo Valles was diagnosed with hearing loss at the tender age of two years old. So I wore hearing aids up until I was nine and I became, I became profoundly deaf at around eight or nine. I felt a little different at times. Like sometimes, you know, kids would say something about it. Teo and his family went to see Dr. Yvette Sejas, Director of Family Support Services, as part of the Children's Hearing Program at UHealth, who says early intervention is key. If hearing loss is untreated, it doesn't just affect uh, communication. It can also have really a big major impacts on learning, on education, social skills, on cognitive development, and even emotional functioning. Teo received his first cochlear implant at age nine. A cochlear implant is made up of two pieces. This part is implanted underneath the skin, and this part sits over the ear and attaches with a magnet. A microphone right here picks up sound, vibrating the cochlea, stimulating the auditory nerve, allowing you to hear. I could tell the difference immediately once I got used to them, how much, how much clearer the sound was than when I had a hearing aid. UHealth offers a comprehensive children's hearing program. That includes a one-of-a-kind interdisciplinary team of audiologists, speech and language pathologists, autologists, psychologists, educators, and social workers to make sure that we're not just treating the child's hearing or their ears, but we're also providing the emotional support, the social support. Dr. Sejas is the lead author of a recently published study in the Journal of the American Medical Association. What we found was that those children who received cochlear implants had better academic achievement in reading, writing, and they also had improved quality of life. Also very importantly, we saw that the biggest benefits were for those who were implanted early, so prior to 18 months of age. Teo was doing so well, he's now a cochlear implant ambassador and recently advocated for access to hearing health care in London, alongside Nobel Prize laureate Malala Yousafzai. I learned that, you know, while we're from all different cultures, all different parts of the world, a lot of the problems and issues that we face for, with hearing loss are the same. He's so thankful to Dr. Sejas and the UHealth team. You guys have changed not only my life, but also my family's life.